Hi, this is Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today I'm going to go over how to use your Oracal 651 as a stencil to be able to use on your painted wood or canvas signs. So this was a cheap little palette that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I painted it with the wall color that's in here and then I dry rubbed some matte black over it just to kind of give it something extra. And I went ahead and cut my design. Now what we're going to do to be able to make a stencil is we are reverse weeding it so that way we are removing the letters and leaving behind the outside, which is different than what we normally do, which is remove the outside and leave behind the letters. So this is just a simple little design. Um, nothing hard to do. So let's see. Got that weeded. So there's my design. So now what I'm going to take and do is I went ahead and pre-cut my mask. This is the mask that is available on my website. I prefer a paper mask over a plastic one. It seems to remove perform your vinyl a whole lot easier than whenever you're using the plastic type. So, we're going to go ahead and mask over this. Doesn't take much time to do this. It's a very, very simple, easy project. So, I've got almost stuck my hand in my paint. So this was, as I said, leftover paint, leftover, and then the palette was super cheap at Hobby Lobby. So what I am doing now is lining up my lettering. which is not super hard to do because, I mean, again, the letters are almost the same height as, let's see, two. Okay, that's pretty center. So, I'm squeegeeing on my vinyl. Okay. And now I'm going to remove my mask off of here. And I want to remove my mask slowly so that way I don't rip my letters because there are holes in this design because of the splits in the wood since it is a palette sign. So we got that on there. As you can see, it took no time at all to lay it out. So this is metallic white artist loft paint. I think it was like on sale at Michael's for like a dollar twenty-five for that. So it wasn't anything expensive. So now what I'm doing is just brushing over my vinyl with my paint. And I'm just trying to apply a somewhat even coat, but I don't want it too perfect. I like it to have some texture behind it. So. As you can see, it goes super fast. It's really not anything difficult to do. And I didn't do any sanding or anything like that on this wood, um, but it did come pretty smooth from Hobby Lobby. 
And again, it kind of depends on what the project that you're doing and what your final look you're wanting on how you may want to work on your lettering. So, as you can see, it goes on super duper fast. It looks great once it's done. Um, We don't take and do a whole lot of editing to the videos. This is normally done in one take. So that way you can see that it is not a super hard project. And you can take and do this on any of your home cutters, whether it be your Cricut or your Silhouette. So, got that done. Now, on my Texas, I put a heart where we are. So that's the only little extra little letter I got to remove out of there. Now I take my pick and I grab my edge. of my vinyl and we're going to slowly remove this from the board. Okay, one layer off. So let me wipe my fingers so I don't get paint all over back on my board. Another part off. Wipe my fingers again. And now we just got the one little last little piece to remove. And grab that final little piece. There we go. And as you can see, for me eyeballing it, I got it pretty perfectly on there. So here it is. Now all it's got to do is dry and for a quick little sign, not much money in materials, not much time, and it looks great. So remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Go ahead and like us on Facebook and go ahead and subscribe on YouTube. Thank y'all and y'all have a wonderful day.